What is going on, everybody? Pete Simonetti here for NYY News TV. As we get closer and closer to the trade deadline, you're going to start seeing things kind of unfold and hear more rumors, hear what's, what's kind of on the stove right now. And I've been telling friends in private, and I also talked about it on Game Season Live last night, that the Miami Marlins are making a strong push to try to acquire Glaber Torres. They've wanted him for a while. We know it goes back to last year. And look, the Marlins and the Yankees do match up. It just depends on how that works. So here's a tweet I put out a little earlier today. Spoke in detail about this on Game Season Live last night. Marlins pushing hard for Glaber Torres. It's from Randy Miller today of NJ.com. Says Marlins want Yankees Glaber Torres badly, but not for Brian Cashman's asking price. Now, what is that asking price? What I have heard the whole time was that I was for a starting pitcher and prospects or a starting pitcher and a relief pitcher for Glaber Torres, and that has not fully gone anywhere as of yet. What Randy Miller is reporting is that the Yankees want young fireballer Edward Cabrera, which every Yankee fan would be very, very happy if you could acquire Edward Cabrera in a deal for Glaber Torres. The kid has phenomenal stuff. ERA is, is in the high fours, strikes out a shit ton of batters, doesn't have great command. But as I've said a lot about Matt Blake, if I could have him work on one thing for me, folks, it is that right there to get the guys to throw more strikes. I don't know what he does, but he's been able to do it. Whether it's just sequence and what sequence guys are throwing their pitches uh, working more of something, I don't know. But he does a very, very good job of getting guys to where they need to be. So I would be all for that. On the year, if I pull him up real quick, Cabrera is 5-6, and six, 4.74 ERA, 74 innings, 90 Ks. The other name he also mentions is lefty Braxton Garrett. He's having a very good year. He's also young. I believe he's in his mid-20s, maybe 25-26. And we can scroll down and double check that. But 408 ERA, 5 and 3 in a year, 1.6 war, 106 innings, 117 Ks. And if we do scroll down, Braxton Garrett is indeed 25 years old. Uh, his fielding independent pitcher got him at a 3.62 ERA. Switch over to Edward Cabrera. And you can see he is 25 years old. His fielding independent pitcher got him a little bit lower, 4.60. But definitely. Edward Cabrera has the upside. Glaber Torres, on the other hand, look, it's one of those weird things, right? There's so many people that love Glaber Torres, and there's people that just go like me. I like the guy as a player. He does get us aggravated at times, and I understand that. But I am not going to offer a long-term extension of Glaber Torres. With that being said, it's probably time to move on from him. Now, would the Yankees just trade Glaber and then have the hole in the, in the infield? No, I do believe if the Yankees trade Glaber, and this is not me reporting on this, this is an assumption, but I do know the Yankees have been talking a lot with Washington about Candelario. I do believe if Candelario becomes available and the Yankees get him, you will see Glaber move. That opens up second base for DJ LeMay the rest of the year. Maybe Peraza, I don't know how they would go about that, but I think they can figure that one out. Now, Speaking of the overall deal regarding this, if Glaber is moving, I got a 1.7 war, 16 homers, 258 average. I was against for a while of moving Glaber. The reason why I'm more on the fence now and probably saying if you could do it, do it. And if you get blown away, do it. Because if Bellinger is not available, you look around. Glaber could potentially be the cream of the crop on the offensive side that teams could want. And maybe it gets down to that deadline and, and Miami goes, hey, look, throw in Marinaccio and we'll give you Cabrera and two other prospects. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I do not know their system too well. Max Mayer, I know, is one of the top uh, pitching prospects in baseball. I think he's been out for a year. Uh, Jacob Berry, good, young, third base prospect. Dax Fulton. Um, they, they, I don't know enough about their system to kind of lead you guys in a direction of what other player could make sense for the Yankees. But I do know if you could get, I would lead with Cabrera and I might even add more to Glaber to get Cabrera, to be honest. 
and Braxton Garrett. If you could get one of those guys plus two other prospects, I'm sorry, but for Gleyber Torres, guys, you got to make that move all day knowing that he's there and you could probably get Condelario at a pretty decent deal. Uh, probably isn't going to cost you a shit ton to make that deal. And then your infield looks very different. And you look at this club and you go, if we're able to do that, we added a starter. Maybe we could trade a starter for an outfielder also. And now you're looking at, you know, almost a new look to the offense. And that is what the Yankees need, a facelift. Um, Glaber is one of the Yankees' better offensive players. He's been the best player in July by far. You got Judge back now. DJ LeMay is starting to look a little more like DJ LeMay. He's dropping his hands before he's swinging, which is something I think Sean Casey has a couple of these guys doing, and it's working out for LeMayu. He's in a better position. He's lining the ball back to right field, up the middle, pulling it when he needs to. So it's going to be an interesting couple of days here on what happens, but I've been told this multiple times. I don't think anything is close. I don't have that as of right now. If I do, I'll put it out there. But it does look like the Marlins are again making a push for Glaber Torres. And again, guys, if the Yankees could get Edward Cabrera, let me tell you right now, man, you go out there and you make that damn deal 10 times out of 10 times with additional prospects. I know the Marlins are very high in this kid. They think he's going to be a star. Shit, if you can get him, go out there and get him. You need guys for the future. That allows the Yankees also to open up their rotation for a potential deal. But what do you guys think in the comments below? Here's my question. Do you think Glaber Torres is going to be moved by Tuesday's deadline? Remember, guys, on Tuesday, I'll be live for 24 hours. And the first two parts of that 24-hour stream, they're going to be bro broken down in eight-hour segments. You guys know the first one is all MLB trade deadline. The second one is all MLB trade deadline and game season live. Whew. It's going to be a hell of a day come Tuesday. But until then, we'll have the news for you guys. Like, share, and subscribe to NYY News TV, the best in Yankees news, rumors, and entertainment. Until next time, guys, I will see you later. Peace.